Hello, Ian here from Dark Blades Workshop. Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this one, it's a quick and easy method for painting stormtroopers. Right now, here we go. Uh, stormtroopers. I've got a few to paint. Uh, printed these off uh, about a few weeks ago. Now these are going to be for my grandson so it's not going to be my normal painstakingly long tutorial. It's going to be a quick job here and um, I'll do a bit of weathering on them to make them look half nice. So paints we're going to use are what I usually use is um, Vallejo's white grey and an off-white mix, but I've been trying AK at the minute, so I'm going to use the same colours. Now these are not the uh, the air colours that I usually use, so I might have to thin them down with um, water and we'll see how we get on. The highlight then is just going to be adding in some white ink so let's mix up some stuff on the palette and get going as i say i'm yet to try these so i'm very interested so that's four drops of white gray and two drops of off-white and I'll throw in some water and that's six drops of water and see how that looks give it a stir flowing a bit more easily now. Right, so we'll throw this in the airbrush and we'll get going. Yeah, that's uh, got a nice consistency there. So I'll just pour it into the cup. You can see quite an easy job. It just runs in quite nicely. And uh, I'll fire up the compressor and away we go. A bit of kitchen roll. And then we'll get it going. So let's give it a quick mix in the cup. Check that it's flowing. This is quite thin, so I just want to build up the layer rather than plaster it on. So while this is drying, we'll move on to another helmet. So that's 
starting to block as you can see all the bubbles coming out of the cup there so I may have to add some more thinner to it but we'll see how we get on yeah not as good as I was hoping as I say these are only going to be played with so it uh, doesn't have to be great quality so I'll carry on make do with what we got okay so I've added a little bit of flow improver to it and it seems to be working fine now so it's just a case of getting the uh, Right consistency. So it's a lot easier now. I'm still getting bubbles in the cup, but it seems to be flowing okay now. So I'll carry on and finish this lot. And I'll be back for the next stage. Okay, so next stage is the off-white and the white ink. And I'm not going beyond 45 degrees here, so you can see the angle I'm spraying at. I don't want to spray from that angle. Okay, I'll do one more. Marvellous. So I'm just going to leave these dry for a bit before we go any further. Um, with regards to the paint then, uh, the last mix was four drops of off-white. Um, about three drops of ink and only about three drops of water because obviously the ink is already quite fluid. And that seemed to fix it with one, one drop of flow improver and there was no issues um, with it getting clogged at all. So whether the, the paint just needed a bloody good shake. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, jury's out on that one. But I, I do like the paints for painting. They're lovely. Um, but it depends if you want the hassle of cleaning out your airbrush or not quite often. Uh, in that case, I'd suggest maybe going back to Tamiya, uh, flat white, add a bit of grey into it. You, you don't want a pure white because every white that I try, it, it just clogs up straight away. So maybe that's got something to do with it. Anyway, right, we'll leave them dry and uh, we'll get on with the painting stages next. 
So on to the next stage. As you can see, I've done some uh, uh, some of the details now in between the armour. Everything is uh, using German grey. From Vallejo. Um, scan the helmet's ready to go as well. And you can use any red or a nice orange colour for the shoulder pads for the captains. Uh, I think white is for a sergeant and um, black is just for a regular trooper. So I've got a sergeant there. And now we're ready for the next stage, which is to give them a coat of chipping fluid. And then we'll go on to uh, add in engine grime. So I've got my engine grime. The, the chipping fluid is drying. I've put a couple of coats on. Uh, just a basic dusting really. It didn't go particularly heavy. And I'll transfer some engine grime into the cup and what I like to do is just put a little bit of thinner in first and throw the engine grime in and then I'll uh, I'll put a little bit of black in there as well so I use this stuff because it's just easier to use really I'll just put a couple of drops of black in there and give it a mix. And another tiny bit of thinner. Ready to go. And then it's just a case of zooming in for a start. <laughs> Let me just get the focus on there. Press this work in. And we don't want a thick layer, just dust it on to start with. And it's, uh, you get a nicer effect if you build it up rather than put it on really thick. So I'll leave that to dry just a wee bit while we move on to another one and we'll come back to it. Uh, depending on what look you want to go for, uh, it depends on how much you actually put on the figure. I'm going for a total grime orgy, so I'll be putting quite a bit of engine grime on. Um, it doesn't really matter how much you put on because of the chipping fluid you can remove pretty much everything um, yeah you'll have a a little bit of texture left on it but most of it will come off so I've gone as you can see I've gone quite dark there that's what I'm after um, you might be happy just with that but just put a little bit more on and uh, it's 
give it five ten minutes to dry before we get the thinner onto it. So with the thinner I transfer a little bit into the actual top of the lid and uh, I'll put the thinners away <laughs> far away because there's no lid on it um, just to stop me from knocking it over and I've got a quite a small flat brush um, it's quite soft it's synthetic uh, I get these from the range you get a pack of about seven or eight um, in the pack and they're, they're different widths and yeah, they're pretty good for this kind of stuff so I'm just gonna start removing the thinner and I want to leave it in the recesses I'll remove most of it but the, the, the great thing about this engine grime is that you get a texture as well as a, a shadow and grime can make streaks here and there as well. So I'm going to leave that move on to the man himself. Um, it looks as though it hasn't dried there yet so I'll do the back first. Um, and what I like to do is pull it up the arm so you, you get a bit of grime still at the top of the, the shoulder. That, that broad surface on the chest plate there gives you an ideal surface to do streaks. And I think we'll leave it at that because I love a bit of grime. I've found it's, uh, it gives a better effect when you get a clean uh, strip there. Right, you'll see when, it, when it's dry. Hopefully you'll see what I mean. And the more you do with these, the, the, the better idea you have about how heavy you can go with the engine grind because you've it was a lottery the first time I tried it <laughs> and um, I just got to recognise uh, how it looks at this stage here and how different it is when it actually dries so yeah just just comes with experience I can't really tell you how much to remove so it's all down to personal taste at the end of the day isn't it Okay, I'm going to leave that there. So. Right, shall I have a look at that when it's dry? Okay, there we are, they're still drying, but you, you'll get an idea. Uh, they won't change much more than this. It's a uh, nice bit of grime, nice bit of texture. Brilliant for a tabletop. 
army. I, th I love it. I love it. this engine grime stuff. It's brilliant. Uh, really pleased. This all I got to do now is uh, paint the bases. If you wanted to take it a bit further, you could um, add some chip into the weapons and and paint the uh, the weapons and ammo pack. Uh, you could do more detail on the shoulder pauldrons. That's what I do from the display stuff. But but for this, like a like a tabletop standard, these are pretty good. You've you've got shade there and you've got texture, as I said earlier. Lovely effect on the uh, engine grime. I think it's brilliant. Marvelous invention. Mr. Jimenez and his company. Lovely stuff. So there we are. That's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I can't recommend engine grime enough, really. Uh, lovely stuff. All right, I'll stop waffling and uh, we'll leave it there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.